New protocol measures have been announced as government and the Ministry of Health continue to lead the national fight against COVID-19. We have some new protocols based on the recent numbers that the CMO has given us. So first of all, I want to indicate that all registered farmers and fisher folk are to be included in the essential list of activities. That means that they automatically, once they are registered, they automatically will be able to um, uh, operate uh, outside of the curfew hours, meaning ast after 7 o'clock at night or before 4 o'clock in the morning, if their business requires, they would be allowed to be out. Pardon PM, so let's just back up a bit that an amendment to the curfew, so because we had it at 7 p.m. to 5 a.m., and as you've just indicated, the curfew will now be 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. Correct. And that makes allowances for our uh, registered farmers and fishers to go about their daily activities. It, it does, but it also, for those persons who like to exercise earlier in the morning, can do so. Um, but in addition to that, by uh, making them an essential list of activities, also allows them to operate within the um, curfew times. So the same thing that would have applied to your manufacturing sector and your emergency services, they also, because our farmers and, and, and fisher folk are producing food for this country. And so we do not want to disrupt their normal pattern of, of, of work. And I think that we would all recognize the important role that they pay. Uh, Faith-based organizations may now hold daily or regular religious ceremonies within the established protocols with the numbers determined by the square footage of the building in keeping with the COVID-19 response plan approved by the Ministry of Equity. So again, we're going away from where churches were going to be limited to 25 people, mm -hmm. um, but based on the square footage of the, of the, of the church, they can operate. Um, Faith-based organizations may hold special religious rights, including weddings and funerals, with a maximum of 25 persons in attendance. And that will also be the number that would be uh, limited when they actually go to the, the, the graveyard site as well. There will be a suspension on the sale and disposal of, or the continued suspension and s on sale and disposal of intoxicating liquor be maintained until the 24th of February. Upon the lifting of the suspension, no consumption of intoxicating liquor shall be permitted or on, on licensed premises during the period of 25th of February to the 16th of March. So even when the current suspension comes to an end on the 24th, the intention is, is that liquor will be available at the grocery stores, um, both big and small, but it will be on a grab-and-go basis. So we know in the rural areas that there are grocery stores that are also bars, persons will be able to purchase their liquor in those locations, but um, it will be on a grab-and-go basis. So we don't see persons um, congregating um, in those spots, but that will be, be between the 24th to the 16th of March. Restaurants and other food establishments shall operate only with a takeaway service. So uh, they will, and that's within the curfew hours. So any restaurant um, uh, or food establishment can continue to, can be open and can um, uh, provide grab and go or delivery services, but they have to be shut and, and, f and f follow the curfew hours. Commercial and business enterprises may be open for businesses and permitted to operate within the established protocols and minimal operation using blended approach. So it means many of the smaller shops and the vendors now will be allowed to go back and start their operations again um, and would have to operate within the hours of the curfew. So between 4 o'clock in the morning and 7 o'clock in the evening. But again, they're going to be required to follow the protocols of wearing your face mask all the time, ensuring that your customers are wearing their face mask at all times. Indoor and outdoor training and gym workouts be permitted within um, the established protocols and prohibition on contact and non-contact competitive sporting activities shall remain in place. So people are allowed to, to go out training, but we are still requiring um, any contact sports um, to be um, restricted. And these measures shall remain in effect from the 17th of February until the 16th of March.